Good morning, and welcome to Las Vegas Unplugged. I'm your host, Grant Chamberlain. And last time with our interview with Howard Schwartz, after we were done, he was so gracious to take some additional time and walk around Gamble's general store and tell some stories about the people in the photos that are on the shelves of Gamble's general store. In those photos are some of the greatest gamblers that ever played the game, also some casino owners and just general Las Vegas characters. Now let's go listen to Howard tell some more great stories. Oh. Right, the second picture from the right, number 42, Okay. is a picture of the Sands Hotel. And you have to look very carefully. You can find John Scarney in there. And he was the one who brought uh, the great game of uh, Baccarat to Las Vegas. It came from Cuba. It had been in Uruguay, I believe, much of the sequence, but uh, Baccarat. Uh, this is like opening night to a, one of the first few days that they had Baccarat in Las Vegas in the 19. 60s, I believe, early 60s. John Scarney, a great author and magician. So as we move down, uh, there in the middle is Peter Griffin, who wrote one of the most advanced books ever on blackjack, the theory of blackjack, which was published by Gambler's Bookshop. Very, very advanced book. And he was, he always wanted to be in disguise, and he would stop at Salvation Army to get his wardrobe so he'd look like a bum when he went to a casino, but he had a PhD in uh, mathematics at uh, Cal State Sacramento. Wherever he went, he had tremendous followers. Uh, over here is, uh, in, the, in the middle, is John Luckman, the original founder of Gambler's Bookshop right there with his books. Uh, he published uh, over 150 books. Little books sometimes sold very well. The Facts of Blackjack, The Facts of Craps. These little books he would publish, uh, it would cost them like 10 cents a book to, to, to make, and he would sell them for a dollar a piece. Sold thousands of them to the casino gift shops. These are the days when there weren't that many books on gambling. There in the middle is Jack Binion talking to Stu Unger. That's at the final of the World Series of Poker in 1997. And uh, that was uh, the, the outdoor finish right there. And Unger wins on the last card. He beats a man named John Strimp on the final card. I believe it was a deuce. But, uh, very dramatic finish. Uh, here is a gentleman with a cigar in his mouth named Huey Maul, a very unsung hero of uh, gambling and sports betting. He actually helped create the pick six bet in Caliente in Mexico. He was an advisor, but great mathematical genius. Spoke at many sports betting seminars. Uh, over here we go to... Uh, uh, David Sklansky on the left, and uh, he was the one who wrote the first book on uh, Hold'em of any significance. And to the right is, uh, is uh, Bill Boyd, uh, and he was a poker room manager and great poker player, and I believe he is credited with developing the game of Omaha poker for the first time. The picture over there on the right is Bill Friedman, who wrote some of the greatest casino management books of all time. And uh, he's now in his late 60s also, but uh, uh, they would fly him to different countries and different states to help design the casinos. He had a book called Designing the Casinos to Dominate the Competition, and probably has a role in designing the casinos in Japan, which will open in the next few years once Japan gets its gear going. Uh, there's number 66 is Amarillo Slim with the white hat on. And uh, a real character. A lot of books were written about him and his escapades and hustling techniques and things like that. But, uh, he's passed on now. He's uh, Dolph Runson, number 65, one of the greatest poker players of all time. Probably uh, still playing. 
here is over here a picture of Bob Martin, who was the legendary line maker of uh, sports betting for about 20 years. And a real character, classy guy. He's pointing his finger. He passed on. And, uh, friend to anybody in sports betting. He's a, the guy with the white hat is, he's passed on a run of real characters of Las Vegas, Little Eddie Saremba. And uh, Little Eddie went, to, took a social security check one day, went to three different casinos. Uh, well, actually within about three days, he won uh, about $600,000 in crafts. Uh -huh. Three days later, he had 85 cents left in his pocket. I said to Little Eddie, I said, save some for a rainy day. He says, you had to stay in action. Lost it all. Once at Binion's and twice at Jerry's Nuggets. There's, uh, in the white hat is Benny Binion, the founder of many. He took some of the largest bets in the history of, uh, of any form of gambling. He let one guy, one roll of the dice, $777,000. They matched his suitcase, the guy had a suitcase with him. He matched it. The guy, he says, let that woman roll, and she rolled, the point was nine, she made the nine, he took both suitcases, jumped into a taxi cab, and wasn't seen again for quite a <laughs> while. The IRS was after him, but this is before the IRS had the real strict regulations. Here is a picture of the man with the glasses, is Julian Braun, who did the computer work for Ed Thorpe. Braun is passed on there, he's from Chicago. Actually, taught high school here in Las Vegas. And a brilliant, a very uh, uh, low-key guy. Uh, to the right of him is Andy Byer, one of the great horse handicappers and authors in the history of thoroughbred racing. And that's when he was much younger, and uh, he was in the store. Here's a picture of Telly Savalas, uh, who uh, you know, television and movies and so on. He loved poker, loved to play poker. And uh, that's Telly. Um, on the far left is uh, Ken Houston, spelled U-S-T-O-N. And he was a legendary blackjack, very flamboyant blackjack play. Probably the man who made blackjack the game it is today. Everybody wanted to be around him. Had a lot of women friends. Uh, died in Paris about 1985 of a drug overdose, supposedly. Right next to him is uh, Bobby Baldwin, great poker player, won the World Series one year, now vice president in the Wynn Corporation. So those are some of the people that I've met, that I've seen, that are, are famous as far as uh, gambling goes. And I've been a privileged uh, fly on the wall, so to speak. All right, but well, thanks so much, Art. We appreciate, it. appreciate you taking the time to do that. All right.